Today we have Eric E-Rock Outland's 1970 small tire Camaro in the house. It's got a QMP built 434 CID LS powered engine with an 88 millimeter Garrett Gen 1 turbo. The car was built by Funkauer Race Cars and it's running a Holley Dominator EFI. This car runs at Outlaw 8.5 and, and also 275 class all over the West Coast. Hi, I'm Lawson with AM Performance Electronics and I'm here with Jason. We're going to show you how to connect a CD7 carbon digital dash to it right now. Connecting a CD5 or CD7 carbon digital dash display to a Holley Dominator or HP EFI system is simple because we provide a plug and play CAN adapter cable that makes it a two plug connection. Combine that with predefined templates and you can be up and running in no time. For Eric's Camaro, we mounted our CD7 carbon to his steering column using our new ram mount system. But because his column was a bit of an odd size, we made our own. But ram does make various sized clamps for steering columns and roll cages alike. Connecting our CD7 carbon dash to the Holley Dominator EFI in Eric's Camaro is as simple as these two cables in front of me. The first is our supplied power cable that comes in every CD5 and CD7 carbon dash. Uh, Note that this end will come as flying leads. We added a Deutsch connector here to make it easy to plug and unplug in his vehicle. We also have our CAN2 Holly plug and play harness, which has our mating CAN2 Deutsch connector and our Holly plug and play connector. In every CD5 and CD7 carbon dash kit, we provide a harness that has an AM net connector and a CAN2 connector. In this application, we're going to be using our CAN2 for our Holly Dominator CAN and our AM net connector using our supplied power harness to provide power to our dash. One of the first things you want to do when connecting our CD5 or CD7 carbon dash to your Holly EFI is go into your Holly EFI software and connect to your ECU. Go into our system drop down tab. We're going to go into basic IO and select the CAN bus button, and whichever CAN bus you're connected to on your particular ECU, you want to make sure that you have race pack data type selected to ensure that the CD7 or CD5 can communicate properly with your Holly EFI. One of the great features with our CD5 and CD7 carbon dashes is the ability to customize up to four different screens, an alarm page and an on change page. In this particular application, we've tailored our colors to match the color scheme of the vehicle, as well as set up all of our different channels uh, using our dash design software with our Holly Can template. For Eric's Camaro, we used our default black blank layout. This opens up lay layout pages, but does not populate the can templates for us. So we go to our display and we're going to go into our CAN receive tab, select port two, because that's the CAN channel we're grabbing our Holly data from. We're gonna go down to import CAN, and here you can see the list of CAN templates we provide with every CD7 and CD5 dash. We're gonna scroll down to our Holly EFI, open this up, import, we're gonna replace anything that pops up and now all of our CAN is configured we go to our outputs and now we have all the different channels that we receive on our Holly CAN data. Now that our outputs have been populated we can use these channels to assign to different functions in our layouts such as coolant temp, engine speed, and so on. Our CD5 and CD7 carbon dashes are packed full of features, and one of those features is the ability to program your own warning text messages and alarm pages. And we're going to go ahead and show you how we do that right now. So Lawson, why don't you go ahead and unplug that oil pressure sensor for me? If you notice, we have our fully customizable warning text at the bottom of the screen and our alarm page displayed. To clear our alarm page, we need to remedy the fault first, so Lawson, go ahead and plug that back in. As you can see, our warning text has disappeared off the bottom of the screen, but the alarm page remains. We do this to make sure that you as a driver acknowledge the alarm 
and physically push a button to clear that alarm. For Eric, we've installed a CD7 logging dash, which includes our panel mount USB port, which makes it nice and easy for Eric to plug in and download his data after a run. Jason, fantastic job, man, as always on the installation and the explanation, thank you. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that button down there. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section or hit us up at gentech at amelectronics.com. Be sure to subscribe to AEM Power TV for more content. Hi, I'm Lawson. I mean... oh, here we, here we go. With Jason, show him the grill, Jason. Damn! This car, AEM See what you did to me? <laughs> All right. Yep. Jason's gonna be the mi <laughs> be, 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 be. Lawson, go ahead and unplug that pressure. Oh, pressure.